Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies in Aspie Let's Play on the Xbox 360. In the last part, I made it to Chapter 3-9, which is the second to last level of the pool section during the day. I wanted to take a brief interlude from the game and check out the minigames in this game. Seeing how we unlocked them a long time ago. How the minigames work... Uh, there are some minigames that are unlocked, and there are some minigames that are locked, actually. A lot of minigames that are locked. The way to, the only way to unlock minigames is to play minigames. It's not really clear what the reward is besides doing that, but it's all about being able to get the full Plants vs. Zombies experience. I'm going to start with Zombotany. The gimmick with this level is that the zombies are now plants. And we got pea shooters and walnut zombies. The pea shooters are capable of firing projectiles just like regular walnuts. Uh, just like regular pea shooters. And the walnuts are capable of protecting other zombies in, behind them from projectiles. So, how is this going to go down? Oh, we need sunflowers. Always need sunflowers. I need to think ahead because the pea shooters can fire projectiles and they can destroy plants. So I'm probably going to be needing the walnut. Potato mine. Yeah, if I use the squash, they're they're going to be able to destroy the squash. I need to mass produce. I need to mass produce sun as soon as possible. Let's do repeaters. Squash. Chompers. And torchwood. Let's see how this works. The section of the game that they use for this part is just the regular uh, first wave the front yard at during the day. No graves, lawnmowers in the front ranks. Oh good, look at this. So see how he's constantly firing projectiles, but they're gonna have no effect on the potato mine because the potato mine is close to the ground. This will give me plenty of time to start mass producing sun. The next zombie that comes out, I'll just plant a squash. Stop him from advancing. Unacceptable, I say. Completely unacceptable. The walnuts are capable of stopping the zombies from shooting the plants behind them, which makes them all not extremely useful for this minigame. And just like during the regular game, the walnut stops them, but it doesn't stop my, my plants. If I let the sunflower get hit too many times, it's gonna get killed. I have to think quickly. Yep. Looks like it looks like one of them already got taken down. I need more sunflowers, damn it. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I'm not too happy with how I'm doing for this round. Although I gotta admit, the chomper is pretty useful since it stop it creates a shield against the zombies. That's right, you have to eat, sir. Spamming the chomper seems to be working. Got a couple walnut zombies now. You're dead! I need a primary line of defense on all my lanes. Here we go. Lots of chompers. I love chompers. Because they are easy to spam when you have surplus sun. Come on, give me some more choppers. You think I'm done eating you guys yet? And when you beat a minigame, you get a trophy and some money. The trophy is proof that you beat the minigame. Beating a minigame that you've already beaten will reward you with a money bag. That gives you a certain amount of money. I think it's $2,000. Let's go walnut bowling. This is just like the original walnut bowling section from Chapter 1-5. The walnuts are projectiles that you fire from behind, from the left of the red line, and they ricochet, uh, depending on the strength of the zombie, it takes a certain amount of walnuts in order to take them down. I'm just waiting for more zombies to spawn behind these guys. There we go. Lots of walnuts. Thanks. 
I'm taking advantage of the fact that the zombies spawn extremely slowly and they wait for the zombies before them to die before they spawn more of them. It allows me to take advantage of the ricochet option because the zombies behind them are going to get hit by walnuts that I've already fired and used up. This is like a bonus. I got some explosives, I think I'll use that in the book and see right there, there we go. Always a worthy choice. And we got some pole vaulting zombies. Pole vaulting zombies are gonna jump over the walnut if it come if it appears to be approaching it. Faster, you bastards. Move faster. See, that zombie thought it was going to get hit by the walnut, so it used its pole vault up. Lots of pluses so far. I keep getting ricochet hits. Based on how I'm doing right now, I'm guessing I'm not going to lose this. Freaking bucket hit zombies. Two more waves left, here comes the next one. Oh, that was a good hit. Yes! More pluses. Ho ho ho! I love it. So this minigame is essentially a little longer than the original one, there, and they're also tougher zombies. Looks like every ricochet hit gets awarded with a little money. I love money. I love getting... I love reinforcement in video games. 
lets me know that I'm doing a good job. Out of walnuts! I need more walnuts, damn it! Oh shit, this isn't good. Seeing how the last wave is coming up, I'll just let the lawnmowers get these guys. I gotta save up on supplies. Are they really all coming out of that one row? What the hell? They just gave that to me! Close shave achievement. Let me check that out. Turned away the zombies even though all five lawnmowers were used. That is a close shave. Shaving the lawn with lawnmowers and blades. I'm gonna cut the video here. When we come back, we're gonna be moving on to some more minigames in the minigame section of Plants vs. Zombies. I'll see you guys next time.